Good morning, guys. Listen, uh, a little starstruck today. You see that guy right there? That's uh, Brandon from Adventure Archaeology. He was nice enough to invite myself and uh, Mr. Luke Cooper out to dig this morning. And, uh, man, I'm pumped up. Uh, so we're in a deep hole today, as you can see. They've been digging on this one quite a while. So we're going to get some uh, dirt shoveled out of this hole. And hopefully, we'll pull out some good stuff. So y'all stay with us. I actually tricked you, man. I tricked you. How'd you trick me? I tricked him to come help me dig this big hole. <laughs> <laughs> Leaf spring right there. I wonder what that was. It's sticking straight out at me. So guys, we're done in this hole. You can see that big rock, but luckily it goes 40 feet that direction. So we're good. It's right there in the side of the layer. Little quart top Raleigh's popped out. That ain't a Raleigh's. Oh, it's pine. pine. A pine. Pine X. Pine X. Now what is that? Pine X was just like a type of medicine, I believe. I got you. We're gonna find a whole lot of those that are from out of state that I don't have a lot of info on, but if they're cork top and a name that I don't recognize, you'll just hear me say it's a med. <laughs> okay, absolutely. So anyway, I'm finna let uh, the other Luke dig a little while and hopefully in 15 minutes, We'll be where we need to be. So guys, I'm gonna try to stay out of Brandon's way. He just popped that out. Little brass padlock. These are my wife's gloves. <laughs> I feel like I swim real good. I got web feet. Absolutely. <laughs> While he's pulling on that rock, there's an Alabama Bylon Works hutch. I believe I'm saying that right. Alabama Bylon Works? Yep, that's right. Hutch that we pulled out. It's pretty common, but I'd be tickled to find one, so. Look at that thing. We found Mount Rushmore down here. <laughs> so hopefully we'll be where we need to be here in just a second. It's probably now, a yell. Guys, that uh, padlock that Brandon pulled out has a cross on it. It's pretty sharp. Got one on both sides. It's on both sides. Had to soak that in some CLR and it'll come out real nice. Absolutely. Well, guys, I'm breathing heavy. We're, st we're still shoveling. There's some kind of flask. That's just gonna be some slick whiskey or something. So anyway, y'all stay with us. Guys, that's why you gotta be careful whenever you uh, throw a shovel full out there. There's a clay marble Brandon picked up off the ground. So Luke number one just pulled out a nice chemical. All right, at first glance, you think it's just a chemical and then you flip it over on the bottom, it says S and D. S and D stands for sharpened domes poison. That okay. was a big poison. Wow. Big one, it probably had a big old paper label on it with a skull and crossbones. That's pretty cool, man. That's a pretty cool find. If you're finding that, there may be a bunch of little ones in there where they were refilling them. So keep your eye out. There might be a whole lot of little poisons right behind that big one. Slam this shovel down. <laughs> Whew, had to get out of the way. Sometimes Standing bigger, in the line of fire. Bigger is better. So Brandon just pulled that quart top out. And he said we're getting into good stuff. So hopefully. Here's your French's. Yep. French's mustard. So hopefully we'll. Pull some hutches here in just a second. All right, so guys, I got a hobble skirt showing right here. And I, be big one easy, isn't it? I believe it's it is whole. Don't take pick it up too high because it'll it'll ping on you. And that is a 1915, and that is from Dallas, Texas. Oh, another Dallas, Texas 1915. All right, long story, but in this this little hole that we're in right now, me and Matt from Gone Digging dug about five foot behind you. Uh, about three months ago and we dug a bunch of Texas bottles in here and one of them was a rare Texas and it was a 1915 and we've had three or four collectors contact us and we actually already sold it uh, I can't remember which bottle it was if, if I can find that video though I'll post the link up in the top right corner for y'all but uh, that's cool man that means we're still in a Texas bracket more than likely this is train trash so the railroad ran between Texas and here, or however it worked, and everything got dumped out of the train into this particular spot. Cool so, deal. That's cool. We, you don't know what you'll find when you get into stuff that's out of state. Absolutely. Y'all stay with us, guys. Guys, he's got one. He just put his shovel on one. He heard squeak, so. I can see the bottom of it. Ah, it's just a jar. We've been fooled. You get all the way to the bottom of this. Okay. I thought it was just a sauce bottle. Alright guys. Finally 
we got to the bottom, you can see that gray layer right there. Whenever you see that, that means you're at the original ground of the dump. So whenever I say bottom, for those of you that don't know, that means we are where the dump originated. And there was a soda laying there, and I didn't see it until I'd already pulled it up. But that is a Riola nice hill script bottle. Should be right around 1910 to 1912. And that was going to clean up fantastic. Still full of water because we're so low in the ground these things fill up. But it looks like it's going to be in great shape. That's pretty cool, man. It's a nice bottle. Good start to the morning for sure. Let's see, Brandon just pulled this right old eye out from Birmingham. It's a good looking bottle. Whoever wants in there next. I've got a, there it is, another Riola. So Coop just stuck his shovel in, guys, and uh, fried that Riola out. So Brand, the one Brandon found, he said he said one of us could take it home, and I said, well, maybe we'll find two, so we'll both get one. So sweet. Yep. Actually, four or five variations of this bottle, by the way. Some of them are. They actually make a circle slug one that's newer than this one. That is the toughest variant. There's a shoulder variant that's up here on the top. There's Aqua. So there's quite a few different ones, but this is the oldest of the variants. So. Sweet. Pretty cool, man. Fantastic. Guys, I have no clue what this is, and Coop doesn't either, but uh, it looks like a white. I'm, I don't think it's salt glazed, and it's got one chip on it. Doesn't have any embossing. Brandon's on the phone. Dude, that's going to be a good one for you to take home right there, though. He's checking to see if it's got anything on the bottom right now. come off. Nothing. So anyway, we'll set that up there. It's got to be a crock of... Oh, that's heavy. Yeah, I think that's going to be a crock of some sort. So, anyway, let's see if he finds anything else. I don't know what would have been in it. That's one thing that I am not good at is is crockery and pottery. Check this out right here, guys. Coop just pulled this out. And this thing is pretty sweet and pretty clean. Super thick, nice piece of pottery. I don't know what it would have been for. Sadly, sadly, it is not stenciled. Probably had a nice label on it. It could have been a marmalade jar. I know I found a marmalade jar that was similar to that uh, a few hours away from here. Uh, but that's pretty fantastic. I mean, it seems like we're getting into that pay layer right now, doesn't it? Absolutely. There we go. We'll keep going, see what else we can find. We can go sideways. But you're going to take your shovel and pry. Down, pry, down, pry. We don't want to go above right here. Mm -hmm. Get any higher than that, all this is coming down. And we don't want to dig that out till we have to. So we're going to undermine. Ooh, there's a bottle. See that? I just hit a bottle. <laughs> and that's the only bad part is people are going to tell you, you could do this with a claw. You could do it with a plastic shovel. You can't do it because this stuff is solid iron. You got to use a shovel. You just kind of got to be... Like I said earlier, you got to break a few eggs to make a cake. Mm -hmm. We're going to save this stuff. We're going to save as much as we can. That's got a funny little bottom on it. I don't think that's going to be a soda. I may be wrong. But let's see why I'm... Not a soda. You got a crack coming up behind you, Brandon. Right here? Yeah. Uh, I figure it's going to get my back dirty here in a second. Yeah, it's about to fall. So that's just a, that's going to be an ink right there, Carter's. Wow. That's a really cool little ink. That's a tougher one to find than most of your short squatty ones. And here's the thing, y'all just saw me on camera hit it with a shovel. Show me where I hit it. it. Usually your shovel will glance off of it because of that angle that I showed you to the side. So when we're hitting it at an angle, your shovel will glance right off of it. There it went. <laughs> that felt good. But yeah, that's, that's a good one. That was worth getting down there just to get that. Absolutely. Well, guys, I didn't find anything whole lines in the hole, but that right I pulled that piece of pottery out, which would have been an awesome find. Brandon said it was probably from the late 1800s. And then I found a... Uh, there wasn't a little cone ink, I think, filled down there, I believe. Yeah. Sure is. Probably for crack. Yeah, I think that was a glue. It may have been an ink. I don't know. It's hard to yeah, say. Yeah, it's kind of just threaded. 
You know, people think because something's threaded that it's new, but you know stuff's been threaded for a long time. That's right. You know, uh, you know it, applications. Yep. Let's see what that one says on the bottom. It is it is an ink. It says Sanford's on the bottom. So that bottle that I found earlier, that other aqua ink, this would be the newer variant. This coop just pulled out a nice peroxide bottle. Actually embossed at the top. You've been pulling a crap ton of those amber meds out of their head, or amber in general. Peroxide of hydrogen. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah, I've never dug one of them. That's pretty cool. Sweet. Probably a nice late teens, early 20s bottle if I had to guess. That's three today, old buddy. Yeah. Jefferson County, isn't it? Yeah. Yep, that was a hutch. Dude, Coop just pulled that out. That's a... Uh... So, you see the slow plate, how it goes up and around? That would have been a tombstone, is what they called it. Jefferson County Balling Works. That would have been a nice, tall Hutchinson uh, right there. Hey, right. the day ain't over. No, we're right there at them. Daggum it. Well, he thought he had a soda. Yeah, it looked good for a second. The rest of it may be in there. Is that how's that big jar looking up there? Looks like it may be busted too. It's laying on a brick, so that ain't never a good sign. <laughs> never. Oh. Well, that stuff's hard, isn't it? <laughs> hey. That's gonna be a style dresser. Think so? Right Let's see it. Go ahead and dig you up above it. It could be a flask. Got a long neck, doesn't it? I think you're probably right, sadly. Oh, I don't know. I don't know it. Uh -uh. I think the salad dressing is. It's it? big, whatever it is. You never know when you're gonna find a whiskey too. Because those Tennessee whiskeys made it down here. Oh. Oh, what in the world is that? Oh, it is. I thought it was busted off. No. This hole. <laughs> no embossing. I don't know what it is. Huh. Well, crazy, crazy. All right, guys. Brandon's got a soda showing. Check this out. I already see the flash. These are made out of the worst glass. Every one of these that I ever dig has got a flash in it. I'm not gonna take it up out of the hole. But that's Alabama Balling Works. And this is considered a deco. Well, I guess I am gonna take it up. Look at that crack down there. That gum. These are just so tough to get whole. I mean, they're just near about impossible. Just for whatever reason, the manufacturers did not use good glass. And uh, just from getting cold or hot, they would pop and crack immensely. But still, it's a nice deco style bottle without a doubt still very keepable dang sweet sucks and that's just alabama bottling works yep that's who made the hut but that's like later that's in their it. life birmingham alabama yeah that's i've got one in better that's pretty than that one. Oh, get out of here so guys i got a flask right here could be a better thing. And I don't think it's a slick. And it's nothing on the other side, but hey. That's a nice corker though. It's like he just said, nobody else is what? Nobody else is digging or Nobody else them. is digging or finding them, so. I ain't making them no more. And guys, I'm thinking, I, I hope that's not a jar right there. It probably is. Oh, thank you. Or it's a glass, but um, I'm gonna cut this off and see if I can't get that dug out of there. Oh, that is a soda. Oh, baby, hole. Oh, oh it it's is. whole. You got one. What'd you get? Oh, it's got gosh. some flashes in it. It's a Cherokee. I saw it on the other side. It is. So I see six and a half. Dang. And it's busted up. But hey, I'll take that. What's it say on the bottom? Did you have a town on it? Or on the whole, uh, hill? I'm sorry. It's Birmingham. Birmingham. Dang. Just, it's a soda. <laughs> we'll, we'll take it. You got to after a day like today. You dig real deep. You got to take what you get. So guys, I was shoveling and I just caught my eye. That's a little bitty triangular poison. You can see I can fit it in my hand right there. Oh, my bad. Oh, that's a nice one too. Yeah. 
Check so anyway, out. we weren't even digging. We were uh, shelling this hole out and it just fell out. So pretty tickled with that. Yeah, I don't know how. Uh, Ooh. Welcome to the danger zone. Guys, we've been giving it heck today. Come on. I just got through digging in there. Slicky I think slick. Brandon filmed it a while ago. I knocked a... Found it, found it a bunch of slick meds. This is probably going to collapse at any time, so we just backed up and taking it careful. I broke the uh, crown on a, on a Jefferson County. What was it? Jefferson County straight up. Oh, there's a soda. Nope. Dang. Good one. <laughs> it was a, uh, one of those welches again. Okay. There's one or something. No, it's not a soda. It's a ketchup. This thing is about to go any second now. Battery ejection. It just uh it'll be Man, there we go. Cores and it just keeps getting going. somewhere. Check this out, I got a poison. Sweet! Oh, this is a good one. I've never dug one of these. Get my phone out where I can record too. My GoPro died. And you want to know something cool is I see a cobalt one down there too. So it may be my elusive skull and crossbones. All right, so check this out. What's cool about this one, sometimes they're just cross hatched on the side, but check that out. In the cross hatches, it says poison on both sides. Sweet. And that has been a bucket list item for me for a very, very long time. I've dug a whole lot of poisons, but never one of this variant. And uh, I know they're not probably the most valuable bottle, but if I had to guess, I'd say it's probably in that $35 to $50 range. But just because I haven't dug it, that's an amazing find for me, guys. Sweet. I'm excited about that, guys. Absolutely. Now, let's see if that cobalt one down there that's great. is a poison. Nope, that gum Bromo. Bromo Seltzer. <laughs> That's what you get when you think you've got a poison and it's got a crack all the way around it. Dag gum it. Oh well, I'll take the poison for sure. Go old chip lip. Winter oh, Smith. Boss. Nice Winter Smith. Winter Smith, Louisville, Kentucky. Yep. California fig syrup. Yep, I've dug some of those before. Yeah, these too. 20s ones like this are three, four, five dollar bottles. Nothing to get super stoked about. Guys, y'all probably just got the end of that falling. Dang, my phone was down there. I hope I'm I just kidding. Nothing to say. <laughs> Hey, said it ain't no <laughs> let me see two hours till uh dark you better get to digging <laughs> that's probably i'm gonna that's that's gonna wind us up for today but man we found a lot of bottles a lot of bottles and we found some good crown types two good poisons uh and uh man we've had a blast so we're kind of worried about that big rock right there above Brandon's head now because a crack's forming right there. And you can see that dirt's continuing to fall. So. You get pretty good at reading this stuff, but it's still still one of those things you got to be be safe. And I know everybody's like, oh, you're not being safe if you're digging over four foot. But I guess, you know, a decade. I've been doing it for, I guess, 12 or 13 years now. And you get to where you can see the cracks and you can hear them. And it helps you. Helps you stay safe. I've never been collapsed on. I've never been around anybody that's been collapsed on, thankfully. But uh, that doesn't mean it won't happen, but hopefully it won't. But uh, we've done a real good job today of staying out of the way of everything. Absolutely. Because we were in a couple of precarious spots. So check this out. We just went from about 12 feet back to about 8 feet, maybe. Yeah, so. it collapsed. Yeah. yeah, it's right there. Guys, that's going to do us for today. You can see we've pulled out a ton of bottles, but um, see that grape of co, and we found a few good sodas. That Alabama Bottling Works right there, that Riola, bunch of slick flasks, Bromo Seltzer. <clears throat> Brandon knocked that one out. I'm gonna take that home with me, but um, just to kind of recap, 
Brandon put out that roll and was gonna let me have it. And I found this one from Dallas, Texas, a 1915 a Cherry Cola from Birmingham. Probably the best one I found is this little bitty poison. So man, it was a uh, it was a good day of digging. And uh, if you're not watching Brandon, you need to go uh, subscribe to Adventure Archaeology on YouTube. We appreciate him uh, letting us come dig today. That's a deep hole, and uh, we've been at it all day. So uh, anyway, look, we appreciate y'all watching the video. Uh, go like and uh, subscribe to the Jones Boys.